Welcome to the channel. This week we're going to have a quick look at some simple seed saving you can do in your own garden and I've decided to show you my spring onions. I let them go to flower and you'll see that they're forming those lovely little seed heads which I cut and take them inside and let them dry completely and they will all open up and give me lovely fresh seeds for next year so I don't have to buy any more spring onion seeds. Really easy to do. And if you grow these lovely, colourful, edible nasturtiums. Keep an eye out for the seeds that are forming. They'll usually drop off on their own, but see these little green things? That's your seed heads. Now you can apparently keep them and eat them as capers. I don't know what you do to them. You need to look into that. But if you want the seeds to grow for next year, you can let them dry on the plant and then go around and gather. There's some more grown on that one. But just let them dry off a little more in the plant and then you can go around and gather them. Now marigolds are probably one of the easiest ones. These pot marigolds, calendula. Now you'll see there's different stages of seeds. That's the green stage there where they're just forming. Don't pick them at that stage. You want to let them dry out just a little more like this. If you want them where they are, fine, do that, sprinkle them. Otherwise, take the seed heads off and dry them fully indoors and there's your seeds for next year. Similar thing with sweet peas. Once you finish picking, let the seeds form. They will form a lot of seeds for you and you can see how they change colour on the plant and they will dry out. Similar to actual edible peas, you can let them dry in the plant a little, which I did here, and then I brought them in to let them dry further. So I hope that's given you a little bit of an idea of where you can start saving your own seeds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.